Hi everyone, and here you have Motu Revelations He-Man, the figure. Alright, he is 7 inch. He uh, is the uh, uh, the latest He-Man from the uh, Motu Revelations line. We call it Motu R. Okay, so you can see, you do see him, he is pretty tall compared to the uh, origin He-Man. And he comes with two changeable arms, one sword of power and one shoe. Alright, uh, you, you, yep, the main advantage of this uh, He-Man line, which you see now before you, uh, you have, you basically can uh, pose him in the, uh, many uh, boulders at uh, the points of articulation. Alright, okay, so let's review him. Alright, and before we review he man, let's take him away. And these are his two hands, which uh, uh, comes with a figure. One close fist hand. Give us uh, and also another hand which is a bit uh, is open open handed. He has hold. He can hold the weapons. All right. Uh, the color tone is pretty nice. All right. There's no much. Uh, a lot of detail on it. Okay, and here is He Man out of the box. Yeah, here is his face scalp. He looks pretty happy for a He Man, uh, but he is usually very serious. Uh, you can see right here his face is nicely painted, nicely done. Um, his eyes are painted nicely, his mouth, especially his hair. Uh, you can uh, you, you do see that he has a nice uh, blonde hair right if you, if you, if you turn uh, the at the sides of him you see that the hair his hair lock uh, okay look at all the lock of hair is painted pretty nicely you can see some clear detail on it right at the back here as well okay you can pop his head off Okay, and put it back in. And you can turn the hits a full 360. Alright, he has the H. Let's take out his weapons first. I'll uh, review the weapons later. Yep, he has a um, H of the Battle Heat, Battle Armor He Man, the old He Man was across. You can remove this uh, chest, up, chest uh, armor by removing this. This at the sides, you can rock him at the upper part of the body. Okay, so he has. Uh, you can also. Uh, his arms has a lot of uh, articulation, and it's sometimes pretty loose. Okay, so for his arms, you have the upper. Arm, which the upper muscle, you can rotate it for 360. You can bend at the elbow. Here's a double elbow bend, basically. Um, you can, uh, uh, this, this is really pretty new for all Motu uh, Revelations figures. And he has a uh, hand, uh, hand bracelet, a uh, 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 hand armor of sorts. Okay, you can take the hand out here. And you can take the arm brace out. Okay, the arm brace is made out of uh, a pretty detailed soft plastic. It's all around here. All right, you can put it in. And you can put the uh, arm in here as well. You can also, uh, here's a uh, Waist articulation, you can rotate it. Okay, and on the outer arm, uh, it's the same thing. However, the uh, this part of the uh, uh, does come off. This part of the brakes or uh, uh, what a hand hand thing of a jig can you can remove it. It's pretty tight. It does come out some sort. 
Yep, it does come out a bit, but mine is a bit stuck. Okay, so you can put it back. This is a overall a nice He-Man figure. If you look at the uh, the, 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 the uh, trousers of the over here, it's uh, made out of soft wool. Uh, basically, you can see all the wool around it, and his belt is usually orange in color, but in this time it's a bit uh, yellow. Okay, uh, you, uh, you do have the articulation on, uh, this is all made of soft plastic, you can bend, you can rotate the upper part of the leg, it does bend also at the elbow, I'm uh, sorry, at the ankle, it has a double, it's also double jointed. Alright, and on the boot, you can see, uh, it's uh, nicely done, the fur at the top part of the boot, and also a lot of uh, detail on the boot, uh, boot boots part, and you are able to roll, uh, be able to uh, rock this part of the uh, joint of the leg. All right, and here you have uh, his uh, the number uh, for uh, from Mattel. Okay, and here's the back of He Man. Pretty uh, nice all-round figure, double jointed uh, knee uh, and elbows as well. Alright, and I'll let you look at the hand. No, I mean the uh, shoe. It comes with a shoe, uh, which is similar to the uh, Origin Seaman shoe, and he comes with a, also, a, a, uh, with a much more realistic uh, shoe holder. We can, we can slide it into the Slide it into the uh, uh, his hand. I'll show you later. And here's the sword of power, which uh, is a, a made out of soft plastic. As you do see, it's a uh, pretty much painted uh, nicely. So uh, the handle is quite detailed. So you have a whole sword uh, compared to the origins one, which only have a half sword. One is for Skeletor and one's for He Man. Right, I'll be doing the red shoe comparison. This is the Revelations He-Man and this is the Origins He-Man uh, shoe. The Origins He-Man shoe is a bit red. Okay, of course it's a different size. Again, if you look besides the difference of it, so it's designed in a dif different way. Okay, so this, uh, this is the... Uh, this is a bit of a hard plastic, this is a bit of soft plastic as well. So uh, this is the difference between those shields. And let's compare the sword of power. Alright, uh, this is from the origins, this is from the revelations. And you can immediately uh, look at it. It's a pretty uh, long sword of power. Uh, the design is still, in essence, is still the same. And this is a half sword. All right, right here you do see the uh, difference between the origins He-Man and the He-Man from the Revelations. Re uh, Revelations He-Man is a bit um, slender. Um, it's a bit uh, more fit, uh, the body-wise, more slim uh, compared to the uh, the origins one. And you do see uh, a varying difference because of the height. This one is a five inch, and the other one is seven inch figure. So you do see the uh, differences between the He-Man's. Okay, and this is a, a, a uh, basically a size comparison to um, the uh, He-Man. Uh, the Origins one have is a bit more bulky. Uh, the uh, uh, Revelations one, you, it's, the muscles are not that uh, over over exaggerated, basically. So uh, here's a side by side look at these two He-Mans, and here's the back. Okay, if you do look at the back, uh, yeah, the Origins He-Man has the holster for the sword. Okay, uh, however, the uh, the Revelations one doesn't have. So let me let me put it in to show you the difference between how we put in sh uh, sword, how the is how uh, at the back. Okay, so these are the main differences. Alright, and here is all the He-Man's 
side by side and you get to know immediately the He-Man from the Origins is missing a uh, one of the uh, hand brace. Right and here, all of them side by side together again. It looks, well, uh, the uh, Revelations one is a bit more awake and the uh, uh, Origins one is a bit sleepy. Finally, I'll show you how the uh, this is how he holds his uh, shield, okay, in this manner, and this is how he holds his sword of power. Let's put it in this way. It's a bit tight. So this is how he holds his weapons. Okay, let me put it properly. You need to uh, kind of. Uh, Put this in a bit more tightly. Yep. Alright. This is how he holds his weapon. Alrighty, and here is Battle Cat. Revolution is Battle Cat. And this is how uh, uh, he means it's on Battle Cat for the Revolution's line. Okay, it's, it's uh, size proportionate. Hi right, guys, this is how um, Revelation's Battle Cat uh, is so big. Uh, this is how he sits on him from the Revelation's line. Okay, perfect fit because of his size. Even uh, He Man has a difficulty of sitting on Battle Cat from the Revelation's because Battle Cat is so huge and his saddle is a bit wide. 